right, Mo. So what is the controversy on In the Moment? So this lady decided to stand on business on this flight, and she felt like it was worth it to go to jail to make her point. And then that became the debate online on if she took this a little too far or if she needed to make this point in order for airlines to realize that they have to stop making this kind of mistake. And this is a debate you had on your podcast? Yes, with Katie on In The Moment, which is under the Pioneer Network, owned by, owned by Burke. To set the scene for you, she's on a flight. She's sitting in a middle seat. And they came to her and told her that her seat was changed. Now, you know how sometimes you go on a flight and then they'll change your seat last minute? Yeah, because sometimes they'll print out the receipt. Yeah, because like you'll be at the check or like the counter to walk onto the plane and then like a new ticket will pop up and they'll be like, here's your new seat assignment. Right. So what it appears happened to her is she was still under the impression that her seat was the seat that was on her app because her app did not refresh. So it still gave her her old seat. Mm -hmm. But when they arranged the seats, I guess she wasn't aware of it they didn't tell her she didn't know so they're telling her someone you're in someone else's seat and she's looking at her phone and she paid for this seat and she's like no i'm not and she decides that she's not going to move because she paid for this seat and she doesn't feel like she should have to get up and rearrange her seat because the airline made a mistake putting uh -huh. two people uh -huh. in the same seat. Okay. So then the police get involved. They call the police on the plane in order to try to get her to move her seat. So she's obviously frustrated because she's trying to get to a funeral and she's telling the officer that she's grieving and they've been giving her a hard time and she does not want to feel like she has to change her seat. And she's in 13E and they're trying to put her back in 37? Exactly. Oh yeah, I would be pissed too. So the officer who, he gets thrown in the middle of this, he is trying to help. He's trying to figure the entire situation out. So from that point, he goes up to the pilot and he says, listen, it does say that that's her seat on the app. So the pilot says, yeah, but the airline changed it and she has to now move. And if she doesn't want to move, then she's going against what we have going and she has to get off the flight, period. Pilot didn't care. She has to go. She has to move her seat or she has to go. So the officer has to now go back and tell her that because that's what the pilot wants. And I guess the officer can't override the pilot. Mm. So when the officer goes back and tells her, I'm sorry, I get where you're coming from, but you have to change your seat. She decides, then I'll go to jail because they basically at that point told her that's your only options now. Because if you don't move, then we have to deplane everyone. Everyone has to get off the flight. So now imagine how inconvenient that's going to be for everybody on the flight. And we're going to take you to jail. And she stood on business and decided to go to jail because she felt like this is on the airline. This is not on me. But what about the other? Why couldn't the other person sit in 37? That's a good question. They never addressed mm. that. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a little guy at five foot four that I have a healthy fear of going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I am avoiding jail at all costs. And this seems stupid to me. Just move the chair. Who cares if you're in 13 or 37? It's There's really not that much of a difference in your flight in 37 and 13. And if you're going to miss a funeral anyway, just get your ass back there. Just go, okay, big deal. She's also in a and middle I could, seat. <laughs> I would never be able to uh, also live with myself if I knew everybody else had to deplane and they are all missing their events that they're supposed to go to too. I would never be able to live with myself. Yeah, like, I would go. I would go back. I would change seats, right? But I purposely, when I book a flight, I go into the seat map and I choose where I want to sit. Same. I do that every single time. So if she did that, plus you have to take into account, she's obviously in an emotional distress if she's going to a funeral, so she's got a lot going on right now. And like, I wouldn't do it, but I don't blame her. And that's how I feel. Like, I completely understand yeah. the principle of it because like you said, you pay good money to be to have the convenience that you're paying for. And then they do this and it's really not on you. It's not your fault. The airline should have a way to do something to fix this. But I ain't going to jail to prove that point. <laughs> what, I ain't going to lie to you. What airline was it? I think she said it was Spirit. Thank God it wasn't Ooh. Delta. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't do this. They right? take it <laughs> <laughs> The Burt Show.